Marshall goes in the ruck against Briggs and wins the first possession as well. Bounces it inside 50. Ash gets the first touch for GWS. Back towards the middle. Daniels flew high, but Marshall gets another early touch. Pumps it deeper this time inside 50. Big pack of players. And coming down in the middle of that pack and taking the grab is Cooper Sharman. Perfect start for the Saints. Head to head with Briggs. It's going to be thrown up. Marshall in out muscles. Briggs scooping him. Tom Green. Crouch appeared to be taken high up by. I was not buying it. Whitfield. Beautiful looking kick. It was just an awkward one for Riccardi trying to stroke the tackle back down there. Josh Battle. And now it's going to spill out. Here he is. Toby. The All Australian captain kicks there first. Of course he did. 30 goals for the year. Jake Riccardi's this sort of play doesn't need a lot of chances to have an impact. That was an ambitious attempt. Stays in the field of play and Hogan marks it. Surrounded by opponents, Jesse Hogan. Kicked nine goals a couple of weeks back. Jesse Hogan, acute angle, opens the face of goal. And Jesse Hogan kicks the Giants second. Wood receives from battle. Spears it straight through the hands of Butler. So this will work for O'Halloran at the back. Time to look up, assess the options, go for Bedford and find him 45 out. With the suspension hanging over his head after the bump on Zach Fisher in the final round. He was cleared a couple of days ago. thinking their way through the game. Briggs has done really well to wrestle his way back into the contest. Marshall was the best player on the ground in the first 10 minutes of the game. Toby Green to an open goal square. He liked it off the boot. Callum Brown cleverly back to Keith. He slipped through the tackle. Goal for Brown. It's the Jackie Chan special. Free kick GWS is going the way of the Giants. Advantage is going to be paid. Callahan. Saw the outside target of Josh Kelly. Normally clever by foot, and he picked out Daniels. Daniels kicks this goal. It'll be the Giants' biggest ever first quarter at the MCG. Good time to do it in a final. And Daniels has got it. Went back and got it. Tom Green flicks it out to Ward and back to Perriman. And here they go. Callahan accelerates. We'll deliver it inside 50. Hogan's got the sit. Secured, as you said, Jase. He's bad for the speed on offer. He took a bit of space. Riccardi. Wilkie drops one. Toby gets it back to Riccardi. And outside of the boot, Bender Riccardi's got it. Six unanswered goals for the Giants. Lloyd now versus Win Hager. O'Hallon arrives in support. Green versus Wilkie. Assesses the options inside. Lloyd kept his feet, finds his boot, kicks another. Saints just can't stop the play at the moment. GWS happy to have it in perpetual motion as Daniels just slaps it on to Hogan. Back to Daniels in the pocket. Fashions a little kick, it's brilliant. And it finds Josh Kelly. St Kilda needs some kick mark football, but they just can't get any at the moment. Crouch, can they find a mark inside 50 this time? Sharman floats in. His handball put Ash under a bit of pressure. Had support, it was Kelly. Green, Gresham comes at him again. Rolls the shoulders. Ash, St Kilda lifting their work right here. Owens gives it off. Opportunity inside 50. King's got to stand and wait. Can he rise to the occasion? Gets it to the edge of forward 50, and it's Gresham sliding in. King providing a couple of leads. He's going to get a free kick. I think Sam Taylor's grabbed hold of him. Might be the most important of the game, and Mac King kicks back-to-back -back goals for the Saints. Enormous. Of Ward, now Whitfield, off the left towards Kelly. They've got three options here to share it. Well done, Ward. Attacked O'Halloran. Ball spills free. Keith Kelly on the left boot. Brings it back. And responds for GWS. Massive goal. 
It's 20 seconds left in the half. Inside 50. Advantage. Advantage. Hill turns, snaps and goals. Sinclair back on it for the Saints. Windhager can pop a handball over the top. This kick better from Wood. Searching towards half forward. Well done, Taylor up across the front. Battle's not prepared to take that risk. Big flow, Butler! <laughs> Hits the ground, gives it off to Hill. Can the Saints make something of this? Owens, they've got a wide open forward 50. Sharman in good position. Himmelberg at the front did superbly. Got it to ground. Wins the battle. Well played, Harry Himmelberg. Wood heads off for treatment. Filippo needs to get involved in the game. Tom Green attacks the goal face and finds Callum Brown. Saints living dangerously here on the edge. They trail by 30 points and is floating in is Iden. Dead. Clear out, Brad. Play on. The answer was yes, it was, but play on the call. Away goes Bedford. He's going to try and accelerate away from Steele. He'll look inside 50. Riccardi's got the sit and the mark. Tom Green. Smiles at number 26. Here's Daniels. Picked it up beautifully. Bedford. He's capable from there, bending it and goaling. Couple of late goals. Something to hang their hat on at three-quarter time. Wang and Ian Miller are inside 50. They fly from all sides. Sharman at the back. Off to Owens. There's one. Cordy on the deck. Needs support. Gets it from Steele. Now to Webster. Towards half forward. Sharman in space will take it. Turns and goes. He's got Hill. They need him now, 48 metres out. It's straight, it's long, it's there! Can they manufacture one with 18 seconds left on the clock? Marshall gets clean ball, but it's straight up and down. Marks his own kick, play on. Hill, quick hands, Winhager, Wanganin Miller will get a look. Pins back the ears and kicks a goal! Marshall against Briggs, centre clearance is just so important. And the Giants win this one. Tom Green tumbles it inside 50, and that's why they're important. First final for Jake Riccardi. Third goal. Steal through the middle. Stocker launches it long. King at the back takes a wonderful mark. And the Giants see off the Saints. GWS survived the elimination final and progressed to visit the loser of Brisbane and Port Adelaide in a sudden death semi next week. Well, there's a big, big sound from the west of the town. It's the sound of the mighty giant. Well, to be honest, I didn't think about the game because I thought I wasn't playing. So, um, nah, yeah, it was, it was definitely different. But, yeah, to be honest, I just tried to act like I was playing, um, prepare like I was playing, and, yeah, I guess it paid up, paid off. We get a sense that the, the guys seem to just love playing with each other and the style of the play leads that. You're obviously just loving footy at the moment. Yeah, no, it's unreal. Um, it's a great bond amongst the whole group. You know, we're in Sydney where a lot of us are away from our family and friends, so we just got each other, and, nah, everyone loves playing for each other and playing with each other.